नमस्कार किसान भाइयों स्वागत है आपका फसल क्रांति यूट्यूब चैनल में फसल क्रांति यूट्यूब चैनल सब्सक्राइब करें साथ ही साथ बेल आइकन का बटन जरूर दबाएं जिससे कि इस पर अपलोड होने वाली वीडियो की जानकारी आपको सबसे पहले मिल सके So Canvas is a company which is uh, was established in 2005, and uh, we have a state-of-art fermentation facility at Pune to produce microbial inoculants for agriculture, for nutrient, pest, and uh, soil health management. So these products are the result of our own uh, R&D, uh, which is uh, DSR approved lab, which is situated at Pune. and we are a team of around 250 people who are working in this field for uh, basically increasing the nutrient use efficiency uh, reducing the residues in food and also soil health management so basically we are having an r&d facility which is uh, used for fermentation and for bringing any new microbe into the system as you know uh, any of the product which has to be launched in agriculture we have to create lot of data for it and this you have to uh, the product has to go through the uh, regulatory guidelines and toxicological guidelines so our r&d is basically meant on a four step process and we call it as a smart bio platform so we have a library of more than 10000 strains out of which we have um, selected some strains on the basis of their efficacy and then we uh, bring them into the production system once we can standardize the production system then only it is taken to the bio efficacy and uh, other types types of toxicological details then the product is properly formulated tested for shelf life and then it is brought into the Uh, market so you are very correct see basically all the chemical pesticides uh, in, in which were launched they showed a knockdown effect in many of the pests and uh, in many of the fungal diseases also they showed a very drastic effect now bio pesticides definitely uh, they take time to show the results but then once uh, they have to be used judiciously and of course the quality of the bio pesticides does matter for the results so you have to position the products properly for example we are working with the grape farmers wherein we target the pre harvest interval uh, in grapes or other crops so that they don't get residues some of the pesticides which are not which are showing resistance uh, to the pests attack or the pests which are showing resistance to the, the chemical fungicides and insecticide there you can in fact start using bio pesticides and then uh, many a times the the interval between the use of two chemical fungicides or a pesticides that interval is increased if you are using a bio pesticide along with a chemical uh, fungicide or insecticide see basically government in some pockets or some in some crops the there is excessive use of chemical pesticides uh, uh, for example horticulture crops or in case of rice also so there the government wishes to use it judiciously because if you use indiscriminately then the chemical pesticides or fertilizers active ingredients may turn may uh, turn out to be redundant so you have to be able to phase out uh, the use in some manner at times or you have to be using uh, bio pesticides along with the chemical uh, pesticides and fungicides so that they are, they can be used for a longer period of time because lot of money has gone into you know bringing out a chemical into the market so you just cannot uh, use it indiscriminately till it becomes redundant you have to be using it judiciously same is the case with fertilizers fertilizers also you have to be use them in the balanced form recently we launched a product for the rice stubble burning wherein the uh, the the farmers have to incorporate the rice straw into the uh, soil for increasing the organic matter uh, message to farmers is you have to uh, learn about the bio biologicals and uh, try and use biologicals safely with the chemicals in order to improve your input use efficiency because the only uh, increasing the profit profits in the agriculture may come by use of bio pesticides and bio fertilizers and soil health management techniques